My name is Chris from C Magazine and we're here today to give you a sneak peek at the Hyundai Stargazer. Love it or hate it, one thing's for sure, you won't see anything else like it. This trip you see over here, these aren't the headlights. The headlights are actually here. LED lights for the top of the line variant, halogen fog lamps down below. Everything is where it should be. Everything is clear. Um, very easy to start getting into and driving right away. Getting inside is really easy. As you can see, there's a lot of room here in the second row. It's a very comfortable experience. The seats are actually really nice. The top of the line variant has a pop-up table that you can use. You can put your laptop in here. You can eat your lunch. You can put your drink. Aircon vents up here uh, with their own controls. And for that added touch of luxury, armrests. How do you beat that? I'm by no means a small person, but this is pretty usable space. This isn't bad at all. You get cup holders, more storage here for your phones, iPads, drinks, books. It opens you up to even more space. And as you can see, it folds nice and flat with no lip here to get in the way. Now, if you fold the second row seats down, opening up to even more space, you can play a basketball game in there. Very nice. Steering wheel, nice and weighted doesn't feel artificial. It's got good power, 115 horsepower. Could have asked for more, but given the segment competition, it's just about average. That's around what you'll get from the other competitors as well. Transmission though, instead of a four-speed auto, is CVT, which I prefer for the added fuel savings, and it's uh, cheaper to maintain. Everything else is presented exactly where you want them. The instrument cluster is easy to read, feel just right not too stiff and not too spongy there are also four drive modes available normal echo sport and smart so here we are inside the stargazer looking around you'll notice the parts where hyundai decided to splurge and where they decided to cut costs it took me a while to get used to this large plastic thing in front of us but you know after a while i actually like it hard plastics used around the cabin here here uh, on the door panel, this is, it looks like it has stitching, but this is plastic. The shifter feels great, it feels uh, high quality, no budge. The screen itself is sharp. The uh, little switches here are not jiggly, not loose, so nothing to worry about there. You find additional compartments here, here for your cell phone, here for bottles and maps, and um, the aircon controls are nicely laid out. Here is a wireless charging pad. Uh, for your cell phone. Um, it has a USB socket here and a 12 volt outlet. I think Hyundai did a great job with the seats. As you can tell, it's perforated, which will uh, keep you cool even during the, the hottest summer days. Things like automatic brake assist, rear cross traffic alert, it's got tire pressure monitoring, it has um, lane keep assist. Basically anything that you would expect from a, from a safety suite, from a a higher costing car, you'll find it here. This is a family car, first and foremost, as a seven-seater. Families will buy this, and safety is a top priority. What we did today isn't comprehensive by any means. We just took the Stargazer around the block to get a feel for what, what, what to expect. We're definitely gonna take a deeper look in a future review. But what we can tell you in the meantime is that we're really impressed with the Hyundai Stargazer. Its use of materials, its, its intelligent design, and flexibility of the seats, and it, its pretty competent powertrain makes it a very intriguing look. Now all we need to do is wait for the price. So once again, this has been Chris Van Hoven from C Magazine. We'll see you in our next video.